Hello, YouTubers and fellow hams. I received a package. It came all the way from France. So I'm curious to see what's in it. Well, I kind of know what's in it. One of my viewers, uh, Stanislaw Perrin, I hope I pronounced your name right, Stanislaw. Forgive me if I screwed it up. Oh no, this is one of those packages. It's got this little evil dust in it. Oh, this insulation material they put in here. There we go. And uh, he has a little web store. He started making uh, antennas for portable operation, backpacker kind of stuff, uh, and fed wires. This is a nice little carrying case. And uh, he uh, saw my comment on another forum on Facebook with one of his uh, antennas, and I really liked something about it. Yeah, there we go. I'll put the uh, link to his web store in the uh, video description. It's a, a nice little store. It looks like he sells components in various configurations and groups for different uh, types of installation. They're, they're kits for building your own end-fed antenna. Uh, they don't come pre-assembled, I, I don't think, but I could be wrong about that. Pack. That's cute. I like this little carrying case. This is uh, this is nice. It's got uh, oh, there's a, a loop. You could loop it onto something there. Put it on your belt over here. This is a nice little case. I dig this. All right, let's see what's in here. Parts. Okay, we have. Uh, they look like they are 3D printed. Uh, yeah. Very smooth. Um, oh, okay, a little, little horizontal banding there. I think that their printer has a little bit of a, of a Z wobble. <laughs> uh, but we got, we got parts. Ah, here's the neat thing. Okay. Talk about that in a second. Huh. Insulators, carabiners. Carabiner looks commercial. The insulators, yeah, most of these are 3D printed parts. And it feels like uh, it's, uh, it's not PLA. It feels like ABS. It's, it's a higher quality plastic than the PLA. So that's probably good. That means it's uh, probably going to hold up a little bit better and a little bit stronger. And uh, insulators, carabiners, okay. Hardware. Um, looks like stainless steel uh, wing nuts, uh, uh, spade end connectors and, and split end connectors for wire, and a BNC panel mount. And this is what's cool about this winder. Okay, that's Velcroed on. That must be for uh, holding it all together after you wrap it up. Yeah, nice little Velcro strap. This is the winder. and. Uh, not only can you wind your wire on it, but he has mounting points here for the BNC connector and a toroid for the end-fed half-wave uh, configuration. These are probably where the... Uh, no, that might be where the uh, wing nuts go. We'll figure it all out. But yeah, the entire antenna winds up on this winder. The toroid and the BNC connector are built in on here. So basically your whole antenna ends up on this thing and you can slip it into your backpack. You get out there and you just unwind the wire, throw your wire up into the tree and connect your radio to the to the connect the BNC connector on here and, and you're on the air. Okay, what else have we got in here? We got some paracord on another winder. That's handy. Uh, we've got two uh, of these little ground stakes. These are not 3D printed, they're commercial, or they look like they're injection molded, so that's a higher strength plastic, which is good. So yeah, he paid attention to putting strength where you need it. Yep, two of those. And uh, instructions. Cheat sheet, he calls it a cheat sheet. <laughs> I like it. Nice uh, photographs and uh, little bits of little hints and tips here on, on how to set things up. Oh, okay, 
those two holes here are for binding posts. The wing nuts go over on this side. And there's the toroid, yeah, so you'd wind your 49 to 1. Yep, there we go. There's all of the information about what goes where. You can install an impedance transformer, un un or balan. Uh, BNC to banana adapter, not provided. Okay, so you could use that for a dipole. Um, wrap your ballon with ties. Okay, so he's got, it's what these holes are for. So you can use zip ties to hold the ballon in, uh, in place or the un un. Um, carabiner to hook up, uh, hang your antenna thanks to these openings, but I haven't figured out what those corner pieces are for yet, what these pieces are for. And they look like they're designed for multi-purpose. So you got the big hole here, you got a small hole through there, and there's a, like an insert in here, flat in there with three more holes, so I wonder what that's all for. Or what it's, anything on the back? Oh yeah, here we go. Hints on how to do it as a sloper. So using the uh, one of these pieces as an insulator end, you wrap your wire and your stake on that end. You could use the center as a sloper. Oh, nice. So these wings have holes in here that you can use to, to put this in the middle, have your wires coming off each end here if you're making up a dipole. And uh, yeah, it's pretty flexible. Ground plane vertical. It shows different ways you can configure it. So it's it's kind of like set up to be multi uh, a multi-use mobile antenna sort of array. He gives you enough hardware to populate this. You're going to have to have your own uh, ballon or on on depending upon what you want, which you could wind and put in the on the center right here. So I'll probably. Well, if I got another capacitor, I might set up myself a uh, 49 to 1 on this for an NFED half wave. Later, I found hidden in a sleeve this 49 to 1 un un kit, which includes the toroid, wire, and the capacitor I need. So there we go. And make a dipole center out of this. It's pretty flexible. So it's a kit of, of parts that you can use to put together all kinds of different portable antennas. And then uh, just slip them in your, uh, you know, if like the cords wrapped up on this one, if you had your your antenna wire wrapped up on that one, you know, these would just fit in a small carrying case, something like this, or uh, in your backpack or in your go kit. So it, it's basically a uh, a kit of the the hardware that you would need to build an antenna, uh, portable antenna. This is cool. So yeah, Stanislas, thanks for sending this to me. I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna wind myself um, something and make something out of this, and then I'll show you what I come up with. So here's the finished uh, hardware with the 49 to one wound on there. The uh, 49 to one kit is another extra he sells. He sent me one and it was tucked in a sleeve in the little bag, I found it, and built the uh, 49 to one for the NFED. It came with the uh, wire, the kit for the 49 to one came with wire and uh, the toroid and the capacitor. So uh, oh, pretty much what you needed to put it together. Uh, and then here is the finished antenna. Now I've got 65 foot of wire uh, for the end fed and I've got about a six foot uh, length on there for the ground side for counterpoise. And it's all wrapped up as you can see, real nice little bundle. I can just tuck that back in the back, back in the pack and uh, zip it up and my antenna is ready to travel and uh, get set up wherever I'm gonna go operate. Uh, it's a little fatter when you got the wire on it, <laughs> but it'll still fit, yeah, see? It'll still fit. Uh, I've got the extra parts in there, the ground stake and everything else. And so there is my 40 through 10 meter end fed half wave antenna ready to go out in the field. Just tuck this on my belt connect it to another backpack if I have one or whatever. Nice little, I like this little carrying case that he gives you. That's uh, that's nice. Good job, uh, Stanislaus, or Stan, I should say, Stan. Good job. So what do I think about the Elk, Pat, Elk Pack hardware kit? I think that's what this is, is a hardware kit for building a portable antenna. 
I think it's really well thought out. Um, the number of holes and uh, extra, you know, it, holes, as long as they're not compromising structure and strength, are a good thing uh, in, in something like this because it gives you more flexibility. There's all kinds of different ways you could attach wires to it, anchor strings, um, various bits and pieces, you know, so it makes it very flexible. And you'll see it again. Uh, I've started planning um, or thinking about this summer going back to visit my family and friends and thinking in the back of my mind about what I'll do as far as a radio uh, when I go up there, what I can bring with me that'll, that'll be in a nice small package to fit, you know, in my duffel bag on the train. I'm probably going to ride the train. And I think that this will be my antenna. And uh, I think this is this this will fit the bill. It's a nice small package. I'll be able to get the entire antenna in there, uh, and maybe even have room to put a battery pack in there too. You know, it's it's nice and convenient. So, uh, Stanislaw, uh, thumbs up on the design. I like it. Um, it's 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 really well thought out. Uh, the hardware stuff is always what I have trouble with. You know, when I'm building an antenna, wire um, winding and on or whatever. Uh, is is straightforward enough, but getting the physical stuff figured out for the center insulator, the ends, and how you're gonna, you know, put it all together, always takes me some time. And, and a kit like this just completely eliminates that. You've got all the flexibility you need on these parts to build whatever type of uh, portable antenna you want to put together. I think uh, so. Good job. I uh, I like it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.